Uh, agenda item 8B is the bid for security services at the Human Resources Building. Yes, we took bids for security guard services. The contract was had it expired. So we took new bids. Um, we only received one. They are currently doing the service as we speak, and we haven't had any issues with them. So we would recommend the American Professional to see Any questions? Just this one, um, uh, I noticed it said unarmed uh, security guards. So they, 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 they don't, I guess, armed one may cost more or something. Or I know this day and time, having somebody without a gun, uh, I mean, not necessarily a gun, at least a or something you know, will make a difference if someone comes in to be unruly, or if we could have a perhaps deputy. I, I just I think basically that. what they what they're doing there is that folks come into the lobby, they're going through a metal detector. So these guards man the metal detectors, uh, those type things, to prevent someone from coming in that may have a Talk them down. Run <laughs> <laughs> them around. Hello? I just noticed that, that part. I was thinking, you know, make me think about the most security type guys. Yeah. I'm not against you. Have we had any issues with this security in the building? No, sir. None that I'm aware of. I think it was as much as anything is that you know, there was issues when. COVID vaccines and all of those sort of things. They had a lot of folks coming and going down there. Uh, it, it's just really kind of a management process as well to put somebody there that has some fault. It takes a much higher level of training to have someone there with a firearm. They'd have to be certified. They would, be, they would have to be blessed with a sheriff from an arrest power standpoint. Um, years ago, many years ago, 25 years ago, we had we were using off-duty uh, deputies for that, um, and then the Department of Labor stepped in and said that that was so close to what they normally do during their regular duties that that was compensatory, compensatory time, and we had to write some very very large overtime checks. So that's when the decision was made um, to go to private security, and then that's something that we always get direction from the, the board health director on. And so far, no one's asked for our security. Okay. All right, we'll move on to agenda.